But I've ended up in the hospital after a match. Have you really? Yeah, bro. The, the second week after my first match, I, I full body cramped for like two hours and oh, an ambulance got me. College. How so important is it? Having a coach on the road is pretty important. I would say it's like it makes a big difference. We were talking about this the other day because um, uh, we saw Leo was like, I think, the only guy at the tournament with a coach almost. Bro, if a man doesn't have a coach, he has a team. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that if you're like, don't perform. Yeah. Like, you might not play the next. This man's chilling. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> oh, we were at dinner yesterday, we were having this exact yeah, conversation. Yeah. Alright, what's up everybody? Welcome to the Change of a Podcast. Um, before this episode starts, we noticed that only 57% of you guys um, are not subscribed to the channel. So, for you guys who actually watch the videos, subscribe so you don't miss any of the episodes coming up. Um, speaking of subscribers, really quickly, I just want to say a big shout out to Zvat. Um, you know, we have we've had a few subs since the beginning that's been reaching out to us and messaging us and following our results. But I would say that he goes above and beyond and in, in checking in and seeing what our schedules are doing and messaging after matches and that sort of stuff. So the support is is appreciated. So a big shout out to him. Um, and lastly, if you guys haven't gotten our merch yet we still have the merch um in the description below go and get some shirts and stuff and pro stringer obviously we have a deal with pro stringer too so if you want to save some money on pro stringers then you know use our discount code but um yeah so for today's episode we have another michigan state episode we have a couple of special guests they're part of the michigan state team that went 23 and 7 um ended the season i believe at 22 in the country which is a program high um, yeah, 23 wins this season and our first ever NCAA tournament win against an undefeated Denver team. Our guests today are, and I'm not going to fuck these names up, uh, <laughs> Aristoteles Danos and Tame Alazme. Thanks for joining us, fellas. Thanks for having us. Thanks for us. Yeah, um, so how's it been playing these Jamaica Futures? I know this is the third week. Um, we played you guys actually the first week, but yeah, what's your experience like being in, uh, in, in Jamaica? I mean... Honestly, it's a battle, man. <laughs> like, like every match is a war zone. Um, I feel like now I'm personally me. I'm like adjusting more. Like I'm not getting back. I'm not getting that gassed playing like matches and stuff. Uh, but honestly, it's like so tough physically and mentally. Like you know, every day is just like getting out, practicing. Like the weather, like you're sweating, like. <laughs> crazy even yeah but honestly it's like so physical yeah it's true yeah. i've been i've ended up in the hospital after a match really. <laughs> have you really yeah bro the, the second week after my first match i i full body cramped for like two hours and oh, an ambulance got me where'd you play at, at tennis jamaica yeah or? tennis jamaica yeah. wow yeah i think the first week was hot though the first week was like uh some record here i felt like... bro i felt great in the first week it was so <laughs> embarrassing i remember i told Ares i was playing leo borg Okay. You know, and I was like, oh, this guy's Swedish, you know. I'm from Syria. I was like, oh, I hope, it, I hope it's really hot. You know, I told ours, I hope it's like 60 degrees tomorrow. <laughs> so then we play the match. I lose in straights, like, not even that long. Yeah. And I was fine in the match. I'm sitting there for like 15 minutes. I get up and I can't move. Oh, it started after the match? Yeah, after the match. I don't know what happened. And then from my feet up to my head, bro, I was oh, done. Yeah. The first thing I got here, the first thing I saw at the courts was a guy full body confidence. So no way. To the courts, no yeah. way. Who? Um, the guy that played for Middle Tennessee. Oh, oh sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. yeah but uh, Dude, I think he got defaulted because he yeah, yeah. left the court. <laughs> exactly, he went at six five down in the second. He went to the bathroom and just got time. Yeah, yeah, and and it's tough, but yeah. but um, it's the first time that I've seen a tournament that has two different match sites. Like one, yeah. Like for for those of you who don't know, we have at Tennis Jamaica has four courts, and then there's another club that has. What, like eight courts, I believe. So, yeah, it's, it's the first time that I've seen this where it's like you have two places that you're playing matches and you don't really know until the night before where you're going to play. You know? No, it's pretty tough. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so how was the season like at, at MSU? Like, I know we had Ozana and Ronnie on before the season started and they were extremely confident that you guys were going to have a great season. I mean, I don't know if you guys had any expectations on just how good the season was going to go, but um, how, how was it? Like, what was the experience like for you guys, and is it what you guys thought that it could have been? 
Uh, I mean, I would say I would say the season was not great, but like it was it was pretty good still. You know, I think our expectations were a bit higher. You know, um, we we really wanted to win like a like our conference big tens, so, yeah. yeah, the big tens. But I think the regular season was pretty good. We had some uh, some some pretty weird slash tough losses, but um, I think the postseason was not that good. I would say yeah. like the tournament and uh, NCAA's we we did not play that well as a team. Yeah, you guys lost to Harvard, right? Harvard, yeah, match. yeah, that was rough. Probably our worst match of the season, maybe. Yeah. 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 What happened? We in doubles we had um so me and Ronnie won our doubles and then I think G and Max were in a tie break and Aris and Ozzy had match points. Dude, right? serving, uh, serving at five three forty go up. No way. I lost I guess? Uh Cooper uh, and we lost. Is that one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. One and rough. then I think from there the the vibe it was tough yeah it was tough yeah I think we lost six match points man like yeah. Yeah. yeah that's true but um what, what about the other matches though I mean obviously you guys I don't know it's your first full season player yeah. with MSU yeah. so I mean it must have been fun like during the season you guys did really well you know yeah. for sure I think I mean there were a lot of firsts for us as a team, like first time doing this and that. Um, but we had really big expectations, I would say, at the start of the season. Also, like the guys on the team, like we have some like really big personalities, and I feel like everybody's really confident. Yeah. Uh, so we expected a lot. Um, so we, I mean, we did well, I would say, but we were still sometimes like just disappointed because we just expected so much more. Yeah. Did I add pressure to you guys or no? I felt in the beginning of the season we were like were we 10 and 0 what was it like 13 and 0 yeah and I, I personally I felt like we kind of started to feel pressure just to like you know when to not have that come? first loss you know what I mean yeah. I, f I felt like in the team there was kind of like we need to keep this like streak going um so there definitely was pressure um but yeah, I mean the history of the team um was not that great so I feel like the expectations from other people were not that not big that. as we had yeah so the unit wanted bigger things than what probably people yeah also yeah wanted. yeah so maybe the the fans and stuff are really happy I, I think so well, but yeah so the kind exactly of yeah, so. pretty much, yeah okay how much did the mentality of like Ozan and Ron and these guys like help the team because like we had Ozan on and obviously yeah. he sets the bar really high so was that kind of common with the rest of you guys and how much did that affect you guys do you want to take some uh, of uh, I think I think Ozan brings brings something different to the team um, like his whole mentality and uh, the way he approaches like matches and like every game and practice his intensity I would say like for me personally like I has told me a lot like He's probably one of the most confident guys I've ever met in my yeah. life. And I think, you know, having someone who, you know, gives you that that confidence, uh, it's super special. And, you know, from the other hand, we, we had Ronnie who was like, he's like, like super talented, <laughs> yeah. you know, crazy person. You, you have no idea what's, you know, what, what you're going to get in the yeah. car. Any like, crazy Ronnie stories from this, this season? Man. That we can tell on camera? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, my experiences with Ronnie were just... Because I was playing doubles with him at the end of the season. Oh. And the guy was just crazy, bro. Like, like there would be big points and like a deuce point, And the guy just like does not care. He just yeah. hits the Loose. shit out of the ball. And I remember when we played the Harvard match, we were served for it at like 5-3, I think. We got broken. And then it was 5-4 and a deuce point. And Ronnie said, I got it. So I was like, okay. And I, and I knew it was either going to be a winner. Or yeah, exactly. Yeah. Either he's going to hit a winner or the, it's, there's not going to be a rally. Yeah. Um, so the guy serves wide and he just 
blast the ball down the line like the guy didn't even flinch it was a clean winner yeah it was nuts um, yeah <laughs> yeah so I th yeah i mean with him it's just it's always special you know what i mean you never know what you're gonna get it's 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 fun though it's how was the the warm-ups like because i mean we're talking about individually how oza like is very particular with his warm-up warm -up, and that ronnie doesn't give a shit so he doesn't really warm up for long so like how was it when you guys as a team come to a match like what, what's that like yeah I think, I mean, Ronnie is not really a big warm-up guy. Yeah. Uh, he just, he's like, he's special, man. Like, he doesn't, sometimes he doesn't even like, or what, actually, he's just... He doesn't yeah. the ball. I mean, you know, he's like, he's gonna hit maybe like sometimes, like the day before he goes and says, like, today I'm gonna play eight minutes. Yeah. What? He says that, yeah. <laughs> and if he doesn't... goes in the court, he doesn't, like, he probably doesn't really do dynamic or anything, you know, he's just like... Two minutes warm up, six minutes full power. Yeah, yeah. full intensity. Yeah, yeah. You know, good. Get the body yeah. going. Yeah. 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 I think with our warm so we have like everybody's really different. We have like Dice, for example. He's like he'll he won't warm up, for example, with us, and then he'll warm up during the dubs point. And then you have like Aris who wants to hit a million balls or Ozan too. I feel like everybody's different, and I think towards the end of the season we really like knew each other really well so everybody knew what everybody needed and it was easier but definitely would the coaches go with that like adjusting yeah. for yeah. the different personalities and what you guys needed i'd say our coaches are really good at being like flexible and just like accepting the you know the different personalities the different like styles on the team yeah because i feel like if we had a coach who was like like really strict really like like my way or the highway kind of yeah. thing, it would have been really tough because we're all, I would say, very different. But I think they did a great job of managing that. It shows like trust, no? The, yeah, the for sure. Trust they have. trust us a lot. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Even well, for the younger guys coming in, like you guys are yeah. younger on the team coming in to have that trust from the yeah. coaches is good, right? For sure, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then what was Harry's impact on the team, like from, from his leadership? Well... Dude, Harry's Harry's kid, man. He's he's young, and I feel like this is gives something you know different on the team. It's like you know, you like you can actually feel for me like I get, I, I feel like really comfortable talking to him. Yeah, you know, it's like like the age difference, like, like eight years, bro. Okay, and you could be my friend. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he's like uh, I feel like he's uh, he he really wants to win. He like really wants to win, and that that's something that, you know, he like uh, the players feel it, you know. Yeah. And that way, you are, like when I play, I feel like you know, like like the coach, like Mike too. Like I feel like our our coaches are really competitive, and if, even if they're like you know, chill in the matches, you know, they really react. Like in the practices, it's, it's intense, man. And like all the drills and everything, it's like surrounded to to like. You know, win our matches. Yeah, I feel like that's that's pretty important. Do you think he feels like he's learning also because he's new to the role too, right? This is yeah, he, he yeah. yeah, I think second or third. I'm not sure, okay. but yeah. I remember he said to me also like he knows like yeah. I think like you said, he's like also like learning as he goes along too. Because yeah. I remember in, at some point in the season, he was like saying to me like like I make mistakes too. I'm I'm learning. Like if if yeah. you feel I'm doing anything wrong, like let me know. No, it's really, it's, like I said, it's really nice that they're, like, they're very understanding, all of them, uh, especially Harry, though. I think it's also part of what Eris said, like, the age difference is not that big. He's really close to us. I feel, like, I don't know, I feel like he's kind of, like, partly, like, our teammate, you know what I mean? Um, like, so, he understands. A little exactly. Bit, a little bit more yeah, than yeah, than yeah, he does. yeah. Well, I think that depends on personality, too, but some players, they like to not be that close to their coach, and they like sure. to be, like, do this, do this. Yeah, this, for sure. You know? Yeah, that's all in the past. I guess it depends on recruiting that, and they're probably doing a good yeah. job if they guys would like it. So, yeah. And um, but with the letdown at the end of the season, like what happens now? Like how is? Because you guys have some guys leaving and some more coming in. So, like, where do you guys go now as a unit? I mean, we have a. I think we have five guys. Yeah, five. Like, yeah, guys, yeah, five guys that are leaving. So, yeah. like our team is currently like a six people seven seven people? seven yeah, something like that. that's uh you know we definitely leave people but uh, uh i mean uh, i i actually have no idea what the hell he's gonna 
<laughs> I could, he just knocked it. I have no clue what to, like, which players that guy did to the team, so, you know, we're hoping uh, big things. And you won uh, freshman of the year, right, for for the Big Ten. So, congrats for us to ball. Thanks. And um, throughout the season, at any point, was that ever on your mind, like individual accolades or any of that stuff? No. I mean, it's so funny. Why guys laughing, bro? It's, it's so funny. funny. He's like the last guy you. to care about a college like, award. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I do that. He do the... <laughs> In TV, like a like a like a channel, and they were like asking me about like you know if you ever had like a, the award on your mind, and I was like, dude, I like I didn't even know the award didn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like obviously I saw I wasn't winning it last year, but like I like the, the first time I actually thought about it was probably like like a week before I got it. Okay, you know, and it's, I mean it's it's pretty funny, man. And uh, I mean obviously I was not I was not thinking about it. So you didn't care about any of the. Like, you weren't thinking of any of the individual accolades at all. You just wanted the team to do good or what? Like, what was your mindset? Like, honestly, I'm so clueless about college tennis, man. Okay. Like, <laughs> like, I feel like now I'm actually like, like, all, all, all team, when, what's it called? Like, like I think all I'm Big Ten. Yeah, all Big Ten first <laughs> team. <laughs> so I doesn't even know what it was. I don't know. You know, like, one day I woke up and it was like, you know, big, big old, big <laughs> team, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm already fake. I should do that. And then, like, honestly, I just want to win that match. Yeah. Just the team to win, and that's pretty much it. You know, awards come after. Has your mindset adjusted a little bit now? It's the summer. It's your time to play some pro tournaments and stuff. I'm guessing yeah. that's the plan. Honestly, I could. Yeah. Like, I'm I'm actually so excited for the summer. Like, yeah. even here, like, the conditions are so tough. But I honestly, like, you know, I want to get points, obviously. Yeah. And, like, this is, this is really different for me. Like, uh... I feel like pro tournaments are like, like the mindset is so different and the matches are like, you know, full individual and I kind of like it, you know. Oh, you prefer it that way, you think? You uh, hate friends uh, or what? You don't like having friends? Bro, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's because I was playing pro to like, like when I was young too. So like my whole mindset is, you know, based on like individual only. Yeah. And I think this year I... I learned how how it is to, to you know be a team and you know I'm still adjusting so far. You didn't play. I, yeah, I wouldn't uh, say I'm the best teammate. Honestly, I'm not like. You know. I think we we talked about this like two days ago, yeah. and the RS was like, "Bro, I'm I'm still learning how to be on a team. Like yeah. this is this is so foreign to me." Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Just tennis. That's all. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I mean it's completely different, like individual. What's about Davis Cup when you go to Davis Cup? What's the team like there? Yeah. I mean, it must, uh, be, it must be pretty cool to play in front of. Like, I saw it on the Instagram. It was like so many people yeah, coming yeah, to watch. Yeah. I'm guessing that's probably because of City basketball. Like, yeah. I mean, it's it's crazy, man. It's like my probably like the best weeks of my life every year. Um, it's so cool, especially when we are playing like Greece. Like so many people, as you yeah. said, like come watch and, you know, I uh, being surrounded by Stefanos too, and like the team is just like, it's just so cool, man. Yeah. You know, you, you feel like you play for like so much. Yeah, I mean, with um, that amount of people watching, like yeah. you do, you know? Yeah. It's like when yeah, I play sure. Davis Cup, there's like three, four people outside <laughs> watching, you know what I mean? I'm maybe three, four more looking at the live school. It's not, it's not like you guys, you know, pictures crazy. And I actually watched some of when Jamaica came and played you guys. Oh, I yeah, think yeah. it was indoor clay, I believe it yes, was. It was. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't remember how many people were watching, but like, you can see this, it, it's a little bit bigger than what we got blood yeah. on. The that, was, that was my first Davis Cup I played. That was like, that was actually like 500 people probably. Yeah. Because Ste- Steph was not playing. Yeah, you know? exactly. So that was nothing compared to what was yeah, the problem. Yeah, and next Davis Cup Steph played, um, I think it was right after he made finals in uh, Australia and Open, it was like, like 12,000 people, 13,000 <laughs> people away. <laughs> You know, like, like, the, like the core was shaking. Right? <laughs> you were nervous? Uh, dude. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, I remember, like, always before going, like, in the core, you know, you just, you know, they call they call your name and, like, everyone starts, like, starts, like clapping, cheering. Yeah. You feel the core shaking. But, like, when you're doing the call, it does the world. Like, bro, like, <laughs> what if I, what if I play like shit? Yeah. Like, what if I just, you know. At what point does it go away in the nerves? Uh, I think first time I played with like 
first time I played 2023, like I got broken first game and I was like, dude, I'm gonna get a double bagel here. Who are you playing? Uh, it's very sad, right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. And, um, yeah, I mean, I think I was like five for down, she was seven for the set, and then I broke back, and then it was like, then I, then I, I felt like I was, you know, I was into the match. Yeah. Then I started enjoying it like so much. Yeah. yeah. It's so different. I mean, well, Michigan State probably has a good crowd too. Maybe not 12,000, but like, yeah. it has a crowd. It's not bad. I, I would say we have one of the better crowds I've seen, like, from teams we've played, let's say, except like maybe like Ohio State. Yeah. When we played Michigan, actually, we had we played them at home on their indoor courts, and I think we had more fans there than they did. That's cool. Yeah, so I would say our like the fans of the team. Bro, East Lansing is sick, though. It's asking me today is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah. it. I played it a few times. I love it there. Yeah. But yeah. um, yeah. How was having Sissy Bass on the team? Like, what was what was that like? Does he help out with the the other guys and stuff? Like, talk talk tennis. Any tips? Any like. I guess leadership, what, whatever. Like, does he any insights into anything? Um, yeah, for sure. I mean, just 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 having him there, you know, just watching, you know, like like everything he does, preparation, you know, how how he deals with practices, you know, matches, you know, what he what he talks about. He's just so different, man. Like, like even just having a normal conversation with him, like. <laughs> <No sooner. laughs> but you know like uh the more i play with him the more i i kind of feel like you know he's my friend more than like you know just somebody who's really like unreal the sport or someone who's on tv or something yeah okay. and, um, like he obviously he's he's a really cool dude he's a really chill like outside of the course he's he's actually like extremely chill and you know we hang around uh we hang out uh he gives us obviously like uh, tips and everything, but like just watching him play the matches, it's just man, you're like, dude, this guy's like, it's like another level. Of yeah, like he goes in more than those that. Huh? A little bit more than those that. Oh, dude, like it's, it's, it's just, tough to be, just, bro. Honestly, dude, you just you just see him like being on the court, you like the the aura he like, I feel like gives it's a joke. Yeah, like. I, I whenever I see him play the other guys are like so intimidated there. Yeah. Like even if he plays like bad, you you know he's gonna win. So no. He's gonna fight away. Even like, you know, he can now he cannot play like fifty percent of what he can. Does he ever talk about that? Like on days that he's not feeling good, like what kind of adjustments he makes? Or can you hear I guess from the coaches and stuff talking to him? Um I would say like it's it's Purely, not purely, but I think the the biggest part is his confidence. Like, he just he just believes himself so much that like, like I'm gonna say an example. Like when it's let's say like four three down and it's like break point, he he just know he's gonna come up like first serve, first ball, you know, yeah. volley, or he, like he's not gonna. I feel like that's what. That's what makes him special from like all the other players. He just you, you know he's gonna come up with something. He's not gonna he's not gonna double fold. Yeah, or he's not gonna like he plays the big points well. He he's so clutch, man. Like and I, I feel like that's that's because he's like he believes in in himself so much. Yeah. It probably takes a long time to train that too, like it's real. You know, it's not like yeah. it's not recent and it's not I guess like easy to break, you know what I mean? Like if you practice that from you're a little bit little kid then you know yeah. at some point he's just yeah. gonna be a strength so yeah that's cool um do you have any cool stories from this up uh, any cool experiences or anything i think the struggle? coolest one honestly was in- when we played jamaican dude because we were uh like we were like group i think we we're playing to like advanced group two maybe okay or we were group no, i think it was group two Group two? It was the first year that they did group two where you can play like other countries from different okay. regions. I've got it. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Um, because we were two, we were two zero down. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. I think it was, I was, it was really cool, man. Cause like we won doubles and then I played plays who was like in like crazy form. I think he was at Blown Up Hollies or something. Yeah. And, yeah. And like I, 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 at the time, then I played the tennis of my life, and, and you know, I beat him. And then 
Petros was playing the decider. He was like, now let's set it up. Against Randy? Yes. Wow. And he came back and like, like even with five, 500 people, it was like a show. Like everyone was like so easy. Yeah. So loud. Yeah. But I watched, I don't remember which match I watched. It was one of the first, the two, two zero days. Mm -hmm. I won the first. It's the first day they played two sets. Yeah, sure. Like yeah, it might have been that the match I watched. I, I came the next day, looked on and I was like, there's no fucking way. Yeah. <laughs> there's no way. <laughs> it was crazy. It was crazy. Yeah. Um, by the way, Randy, if you're watching, by the way, uh, United won uh, a trophy and you didn't congratulate me. So <laughs> I um, think I need a public congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's why I'm wearing this today. But, um, but yeah, Tame, so can you tell me a little bit about your tennis background too? Like growing up. You grew up in Syria or you yeah. moved to Germany at what age? Oh, How did um, I, know? I started playing tennis when I was like four in Syria. Okay. Um, till I was about eight, I would say. So that's where I like got into tennis. Um, then we moved to Qatar because of the war. Um, I think I played there for like eight more years. And then I've been in Germany at an academy for the past four years. Okay. Yeah, so a bit all over the place. Yeah. And the family is still in Qatar? No, in Germany, no. Also, your whole family. Yeah, we moved. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. It's it's been a journey, man. Yeah. Yeah. Was tennis uh, big in, in Syria? No, uh, I wouldn't say so. It's probably like football is the biggest, or okay. soccer, whatever yeah. you call it, man. <laughs> um, but no, tennis wasn't that big, just because my dad and my brother played before me, so I just kind of grew into it, um, and I don't really. Like, I was kind of born playing tennis. Like, I it wasn't really that I chose to play tennis. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, did you start the way on choosing tennis? Is that what you're saying? I pr no, no, no. I, <laughs> I probably would. Probably. Okay. But well, who knows? Yeah. He's actually sick at football. Oh, really? You're good? This guy thinks I'm unreal at football, right? <laughs> <He's sick, bro. laughs> but <laughs> actually, when you, they, you play at school or what? Yeah, like just with friends and stuff. Okay. I played a lot when I was uh, when I was young, yeah, but not anymore. You can't go to three, you'll get hurt. See it. That's why, man. Yeah. yeah. But um, so at, in Germany now you train well. I train at the Alexander Vasquez Tennis University. There's a, it's in Frankfurt, okay. and there's a there's a couple of good players practicing there, good coaches. Um, I've been there for the past four years, like I said. It's probably like the main reason why I moved to Germany right. um, to practice there. Um, and yeah, it's been pretty stable since I've been there. Before that, I had like a ton of coaches. Yeah. Just because there so was. So now you like, have one consistent coach? Like I mean, now, I, <laughs> now I'm in the States. Yeah. So. But before, yeah. Like yeah, before, Germany. yeah, yeah. And then I would have like a coach traveling with me and everything. So it was great. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, no, it was a really good setup. Um, but I decided then, yeah, to go to college. How so important do you think having a coach on the road is? Pretty important. I would say it's like it makes a big difference. We were talking about this the other day because um, uh, we saw Leo was like, I think, the only guy at the tournament with a coach almost. Bro, if a man doesn't have a coach, he has a team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Saying, right? We played him in the double spot. Yeah. Dude, we played him in the double spot, right? <laughs> it was not only him, but it was also Shah, the Indian. Gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think his parents are there with him. Yeah, so and then. Had, Borg with his like, his girlfriend and his coach exactly yeah. and his coach there's another girl too. oh there's right right there. right yeah, so yeah. that's his girlfriend <laughs> right, so that's at yeah. least three people and then we yeah, have yeah. Sha yeah. who has another two his people parents, it's yeah. like just me and Josh <laughs> like, what's going on like I'm yeah. supposed yeah. to have the home crowd like, <laughs> it's supposed to be what yeah. I can support but, uh, yeah. Yeah. I agree I think it's important I think it's huge I mean just like even if it's like small help in a match I think it makes it can go a long way I think especially now with like I don't know if they were doing it here, but they're allowing coaching a lot of the 15Ks. Yeah, it's allowed not everywhere. So I think that makes it even more important because uh, they can have a bigger impact. Uh, yeah. True. But it's it's expensive. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, it's it's not easy. How much um, um, did your game evolve in Germany? Like, did you make a big jump? I would say yes. Um, bef like I said before, like in Qatar, there's not like much tennis honestly yeah. there's not many people to practice with so i think in germany i got you know more exposure to playing better players i started like traveling to play juniors and then eventually to play futures um so i think that's when it really became like serious i would say okay. yeah and 
how why why msu then um honestly because of harry like to be honest i met him he was recruiting at some junior tournaments okay. and then i talked to a bunch of coaches um but he just stood out to me in the sense that like i talked to him a couple times and i felt like i was close to him like yeah. he was really nice really easy to talk to um so i felt like you know i, f I was like leaving home which is not easy for me i felt like if i'm gonna go you know to the states which is so far away i might as well go, go somewhere, somewhere where yeah. i feel comfortable you know where i like the coach um so that's yeah that's i i would say that's the biggest factor and then i went on a visit eventually um and it was i mean the facilities are, are great yeah uh, is it what you expected like the season to be like the team on college tennis and all this stuff it was what i expected it to be but it was still surprising like in a way because like i expected it like to be like loud and all this stuff but still like imagining it and actually like being on the court um like for example like to clinch the dubs point or something yeah. you, it's like oh yeah it, it gets it gets pretty rowdy which is really nice i remember our first our first home match i was so overwhelmed bro. i played double oh, yeah. i played doubles with him right yeah. it was both of our our first our first college match yeah. and we were so tight bro okay. <laughs> i who was, who was it brown Brown or Western yeah. Michigan? We played. We had a double header that day. Yeah, yeah. Western Michigan. Western Michigan yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were so tight, bro. I was like looking at this guy, like, oh, he's tweaking, and I was tweaking too. Um, but we got through it. Um, yeah, it was, it was, it was an experience. So I've sure. seen so many videos of you guys like this this season, like because I have Ozan and Ronnie, so yeah. I see a bunch of stuff, and then on Twitter I see some stuff too. You guys are always freaking out. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I I really enjoy our. Our team spirit, I feel like at matches we really push each other. I'm always surprised when we play like other teams. Sometimes it's just, it's like not the same. And I really like appreciate that from the guys on our team who are also like not playing because yeah. they make a huge effort to, be to really help. That was one of the questions to Josh oh. because yeah. I saw that you played most of the season at five and six. Yeah, and yeah, five, yeah. Five, yeah. Six, yeah, yeah, yeah. Four, whatever. Yeah. And you played dubs. Obviously, you yeah. were the whole time. Yeah. But, um, I don't know how much about... Do you guys watch basketball or not really? Yeah, not yeah. crazy. So maybe yeah. when LeBron was at the Heat, I was a big Heat fan. Uh -huh. And they have a joke with the, their team that it was the big three. So LeBron yeah. made a Chris Bosh yeah. and the little 12. Oh. That's, so the other guys <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, and um, they were saying like how hard it is for guys like Udonis Haslam and like guys who don't start and actually don't get that many minutes. Yeah. So then, in certain situations, be thrown in the game, and they only get a handful of shots a game, and they have to make shots. So I was wondering how it feels for the guy who is seven, eight. They don't play matches all season, yeah. and then I don't know. You're out of four yeah, or yeah, six. Yeah. Then, then I don't get, play. No, for get sure. Thrown in at six. Yeah, yeah, and they yeah, haven't yeah. played a match in a month and a half. Yeah. You know, now they have to perform because then yeah. they'll just get right back out the yeah. the lineup for the next yeah. match. It's kind of cutthroat. If it's like it's pretty six, tough seven, man yeah it's rough. yeah i was in and out of the lineup for a while and i can say it's like what because you know that if you're like don't perform yeah like you might not play the next match that's chill. yeah that's what <laughs> bro, we were at dinner yesterday we we're having this exact conversation and i was like we were talking about the season i was like bro this season was so stressful for me yeah. and eris is like what are you talking about? Like, what are you, what are you stressed about? Yeah. I was like, Eris, bro, you have no right to talk. Like, yeah, exactly. you know, you're chilling. You're playing every single That's match. That's what I'm saying. Unless you're being arrested. And then I explained to him, and he's like, oh, that does make sense. Yeah, Cause, uh, you have to call yeah. and be shot right away. Yeah, because if you're not, then, you know, you can lose your chance. Well, it's almost like you have to convince. If you're seven and you come into six, yeah. you have to not only win, but you have yeah. to like, convince that you're better. to win yeah. and stay. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And that doesn't always, obviously yeah. doesn't always And I think... It can, it can lead to like you know like tension in the team too. Because at the end of the day, like you're competing sometimes with your teammate yeah. for who's playing. Exactly. Um, luckily in our team, I think we're all pretty close, so that's never that was never an issue. Um, but I can see like it's it can be pretty stressful because yeah. you're playing for more than just the match. That's like, huge from those guys then to yeah to be like I mean, sure. I I was lucky that I was I went to a small school. So we already did have a big team. We only had like eight guys on the team. And like with respect to them, the level dropped off pretty quick because before I went to a division two, so my yeah. freshman year was, I believe, either maybe first year division one. And I was, my freshman year I was at five. 
and I knew that I wasn't gonna go to six, that I wasn't gonna come come out the lineup. But yeah. the guy who was six, seven, yeah, like yeah. it's rough, you know. And then we dealt with that for a few years. I mean, every team, I guess, did do that. You know, the, yeah. the fall off between six. Yeah, for so. sure. So, no, the guys were, I think, great in that. Just because I feel like if they get like down about it, and like there's this, you know, this kind of like negative competition, yeah. that like the whole team, like the whole vibe, just. Gets Who were those guys that were on the edge? Like, uh, Josh is one. I mean, everyone like Josh, Luke, Reed, G, me. I would say. So there's a handful of you guys that actually could have competed for that last spot. Like, five, I would say so, five, yeah. Five. I would say there's right. a couple, yeah. Is he being modest or what? I'm being. <laughs> say it, say it. <laughs> <laughs> He's tight. I only follow those guys with balance. Yeah, they were a couple. Yeah, they were good. Uh, he was about to say something shout crazy. Out to, shout out to Reed, man. <laughs> um, shout out to Reed. It's crazy. But yeah, so. You guys want to play a quick game? It was supposed yeah. to be. It was supposed to be a third guest today. The other teammate. So yeah, he's busy becoming a doctor. Yeah, he's too busy. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sorry about that. The more the podcast. Okay. Sorry, man. All right, guy. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, let's see. So, I'll ask a question, and the first person to answer, um, first person to answer gets the point. It's five questions, but if you answer, like, if I say, if I ask the question, you answer. You type of question? Mostly tennis questions. Almost all of them. Yeah, I'm losing this. Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> but once you answer, like, if I say the question, you answer once, you have to wait until. If you're wrong, you have to oh, wait until your teammate. Okay? Yeah. All right, question one. How many seeded players are there in a 128 draw tournament? 32. Gotta be quicker, bro. Too good. That is correct. 1 0. 1. <laughs> Next question. What is Grigor Dimitrov's career high? Three. Three? Are you gonna even play no, the game? bro. Three is crazy. I was gonna say like seven. Dude, you are you gonna say rough? Three. Wait, don't think about it. Twenty seventeen. Three. Just right, bro. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Bro, this guy watches tennis all day long. You don't understand. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, no. He's all talking right. about tennis all, all right, day. You wanna bro. switch it up from tennis? No, no. Oh, keep no let's going, switch keep going. Up. Question three. Spell the word sophomore. S O P S H O M O you have to is that right? Bro, is that guy, right? You don't is that right? Question. You have to play the guy. Oh, you're on three zero. Too good, man. All right, let's go. I got this one. I got this one. I got this one. Have you guys seen any of our podcasts at all? Bro, I've, I've seen a couple. Many, I think I've seen a couple episodes. Yeah. Have yeah. yeah. you watched some of it? Yeah. 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 I think I've seen a couple. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I mean, I don't know what this question is going to be. Who is the highest? Okay, this can be. For two points, if you can get both. All right. Who is the highest ranked guest we've had on the podcast? Once like you career high. high. Yeah, that's why it's two points. You can go career high. Career high? Slow stains. Yeah. Yeah, I'm that's losing this. Yeah. So, yes, sir. Okay, that's 4 0. Can we get a. That's right, right? Yeah, that's right. That's that's right. right. Oh, wait. Oh, this is... For the ATP too? Yeah, you can do ATP. Yeah, I have no clue. Okay. This one's sneaky, though. I think you're going to. Oh, it's on Barish. I think. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I have no clue. Kovacevic? No. No? Who? You got higher? He's, he's ranked pretty high. He's like 100, no? We have someone that came on. He's 21 in the world. Oof. He played. Oh, he's probably like... He's he retired? retired? Yeah, retired. <sighs> okay, you want a tip? Yeah. He used to, he used to coach us. So, That's you know, true. it's three of us. It's myself, Evan, and Justin. He used to coach oh, us. Oh, he used the, to? Oh, I know who he's there. Uh, I, yeah, I, don't know, I don't know his name, though. He's the coach of... Uh, He's the coach of an academy in Florida, right? In Texas. Oh, in Texas? No, yeah, yeah. Taylor. Taylor Dent. Dude, I'm sorry, but I do not know who that is. I'm not going to. was the guy that was practicing in, uh, in Florida, remember? In the no. No. What's, what's the Would he have been there? Where we train now? On the green clay? The, the, the guy is coaching. Dent. He said in Texas, yeah, bro, in Texas. not Florida. You, you cannot be talking like this. That's You're five. Like, what, yeah. six, five. Five zero. Right? Okay. You want the last one? One on the board, please. What is the capital of Switzerland? Oh. Ooh. I'm I gonna. I'm gonna 
say Basel. No. No. Uh, but, oh, it's uh, dude. I know the I don't I know the word in in Greek. It's, well, it's not Greek. Or it's, it's Bern. Yo, what a joke! That's unreal. Good job. That's true, bro. <laughs> That's good job. Guys, beating me off court too. That's, That's crazy. Yeah, you need to show up, bro. Still got the didn't even try, like I was that. trying, bro. Sophomore, I had no idea. <laughs> Sophomore, he just gave up. I was, I, I was gonna spell it wrong. I'm not gonna no, lie. I was stressing out. I was being if slow. Guys, I just gave up. No, if the, if you guys have seen the other episodes, I lose all the games. So oh, I, yeah, yeah, I'm glad that I'm the one you reading the like, questions. Who you uh, lose uh, Zeke? Just for <laughs> no, no. So we recently just Zeke done. must be unreal in this game. <laughs> we didn't start. <laughs> you want to be pretty so intense? <laughs> we didn't start the games until recent episodes, and then since then I've been traveling, so we haven't all been together. But like. We did one in Sloan. We did one with, I think maybe Roberto Sid or I don't know. Yeah, there was a few. We did like yeah. three or four, four games. But Justin's usually the one who like he just sends in these pressures, and yeah, I'm glad that I didn't have to. Sophomore man, I was gonna spell it with an E after the H. You're lying. I'm lying. Yeah, it was. <laughs> after the H. I don't know why, man. <laughs> the math questions oh. get me. Do not ask me math, math, questions, math, math questions. No, 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 not in this one. But yeah, I got them in the past. I'm there just... is one math question, but it was a tiebreaker. For... Yeah, we're not close. I was not gonna win. I'm gonna give you a chance. We both battled you, 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 in, you, you, at Math you, you, you 103, bro. Question, <laughs> you want a math question for seven points? <laughs> Let's see it. What is 58 minus seven? No, sorry. Oh. 58 minus 37. Uh, 21. 21. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Barely. Be be <laughs> All right, let's. Math uh, 103, man. <laughs> That's why I took away. That's why Math I took away. 103. <laughs> All right, let's finish up. Uh, we asked for some questions on Instagram, and there was only one question from Naresh. What's a good tip to plan an ITF trip for the first time? Ooh. So I'm guessing that he hasn't played any futures yet. So if you guys have any advice for him, um, what should he look? to do if it's his first time planning a futures trip honestly if if it was my first time, i'd recommend like staying at the official hotel just to like you know have transport to the site and stuff like that i feel like it's helpful especially if it's your if you're, it's your first time traveling for futures yeah it definitely yeah it easier when you don't yeah. have to like try and figure out how to yeah. get your own yeah. there's some taxis that change money yeah. and all this stuff and i think honestly my experience is you can email like the tournament director and stuff, they like they normally. If I don't know where to stay, they'll help me out. Yeah. You know, give me suggestions. Um, cool. So that helps some a lot. Are convenient, like these, like Tunisia and Turkey, yeah, and for Egypt sure. And these places where oh, yeah. you those just, tournaments are unreal. Yeah, you can just stay in the same yeah. place. You don't have to worry about transportation. Yeah, that's true. You don't have to worry about fishing mm-hmm. and all that stuff. It makes it easier. Yeah. Um, it's just far away for us. Yeah. Maybe I mean I guess you guys not really, but for me it's very far. So <laughs> me, me and ours have this theory that in twenty years every top hundred player would have played in Monastir at least once. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh. But this is have you guys this there? is our yeah. Oh, yeah. You like it there? I like it. I feel it gets old after like three. I I'd say my limit is about three weeks. Yeah, yeah my limit was three. I just got back from there. Oh really? I went there oh, right before. Yeah, like I went there for three weeks. Took one week off. Then I went two weeks to Mexico and a straight hit. This is my fifth week in a row. I made wow. my which, which most one? tougher. Mexico or Tunisia? Bro, Mexico is amazing. Oh, How really? Conditions for playing. Um, conditions, Mexico was tougher. Like the Cover. second week in Mexico was ridiculous, bro. It was like outdoor, but covered. And it was so worse than here. Yeah. It was way worse than here. Like it's not like outdoors, outdoors, right? Yeah, it's outdoors, but it has a huge. Yeah, it's COVID. So you don't get any wind and it's so humid. Like you walk like, outside, you sweat. It's like, wait, was he have the lights or is it from like the. They have lights, but it's sunny. Yeah, until the end of the day. And then we play some matches in the afternoon, where they have, like evening, where they put on lights. Like the doubles finals at night. Yeah. It's cool. I think I saw a video of one of your doubles. There was like a lot of people watching. That was from the week before. Oh. But there were people in both weeks, like the 20. I was surprised. That's not, for futures, that's well, unreal. Unreal. That's yeah. Unreal. It's better than yeah. challenges. Like, there's a, it's better than a lot of challenges in terms of crowd. But people yeah. out there watching pre qualities. No. Well, I swear to God. Yeah. Pre qualities. <laughs> yeah. yeah, pre qualities. I showed first day. It's like pre qualities, like wild card tournaments and qualifiers. Yeah. Kind of yeah, that's no, crazy. People out there. I'm just. Like, that's a battle. Yeah, and I know that like, if I show up and I have a bad performance, it's still going to look good to the crowd. If <laughs> that's <big> quality. Quality. <laughs> oh, you know, so, uh, yeah. But then I actually, I played Escobedo on center courts. Um, 
Oh. And it was like I started at like after 9 p.m. So it was like a lot of people. Night they're session. Making, they're making matches like in the afternoon. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that's unreal. Really, that yeah, he he was he was complaining they were playing in the morning. Here. Last week I played like like two p.m. Bro. You don't have to upset. Yeah, yeah. Like I was, I understand. I, I played Z, got died. Bro, you yeah, have to watch this guy play a match in these conditions. He sweats so much. He's he's sliding you, on the court. You know, I saw you. <laughs> I saw you play Matt Kuhar, and I was uh -huh. like, I thought you were dying, but you you. He no, was. was one, one in one. Was was. Nice, yeah, bro. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Like I was, dude, it's crazy. I, I played, uh, I played Anu in quarters, uh -huh. and I, I was like serving for the set. Yes. Lost the set, and I'm like, dude, like, I don't think there's a way I'm playing. Like, I would have got survived playing two yeah. sets too. Like, I'll, I'll think if I can battle. Yeah, I think I played you guys the day that you played Kuha. So I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, Bro, Matt, just keep him out there. <laughs> Let him go three, four hours, you know. Yeah. But that it was like one and one. I was like, oh my god. Uh, Ready. He came back and he's like, "Bro, this match was so physical." And I'm sitting there, I'm like, "Ars, <laughs> one I, and one, <laughs> like, what are we talking I about?" <laughs> I, think I, I think I overheard you guys joking, like, in after our doubles about him not being there at the end of the match or something. Like, maybe you were a little bit oh, tired yeah. or something, you know? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah man. But that's my life now. I'm hoping the singles players get tired and so I can stake some doubles wins. <laughs> man, it's, 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 it's fair game, bro. Yeah, <laughs> true. True. Did anyone message for for you guys to ask any questions? No, uh, I don't think so. No, no, damn, no love for the boys. That's crazy. That's, that's, crazy. that's real tough stuff. That's crazy. But um, yeah, bro. Thank you guys <laughs> for for coming on. Anything else you guys want to cover before? Yeah, man. All good. Man. That's all. Shout out to Shane no report. Dude, actually, actually merch. merch. It's actually sick. Yeah, it's cool. I was like, this is actually. Cool. <laughs> 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 Merch, Speaking of merch, by the way, let me let you guys know. On, let me stand on some business for a second. It costs us thirty nine dollars a month to have the merch available to be bought, and no one's bought merch for like two months. No. Yeah. So so when it first came out, we had a bunch of people buying merch, which helps. Um, but then the last two months we haven't pushed it that much, and people yeah. haven't bought. So you heard it here first. The merch is nice. Um, so. Let us know in the comments below if you want us to keep it on, go buy some stuff. Otherwise, we're probably considering taking it down for a little bit until until we grow and, and have some people who want to buy. So, yeah. But yeah, we've been lucky, bro. Like, we started a year and a half ago, and we're starting to get to the point where we have a little bit of an income that can help yeah. pay for editing and that sort of stuff. It's been a lot of work, but it's starting to, to pay off, so it's nice. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys coming on. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, man. Thanks for having us. Um, Good luck this summer and, and for the rest yeah. of, the, of the season. Yeah, and um, yeah, guys, thanks for thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And um, yeah, see you guys in the next episode.